And, and we had chatted about a term, and, and um, I've just started hearing about, was Hounsfield units. Sure. And uh, it's being uh, tossed about in this sector quite a bit. And uh, would you just share a bit about the detail of the reference to that and the importance or non-importance of it? Sure. Uh, so Hounsfield units are the measurement of density that causes these black and white CT scans to be relatively darker or relatively lighter. And that's what radiologists and other cardiologists look at when they're analyzing a CT, angi <clears throat> CT angiography right now in order to assess where there might be calcification or non-calcified plaque. And there are technologies out there that are seeking to leverage these Hounsfield units in its raw form in order to characterize the plaque. The issue with doing this is twofold, though. First, they're taking these raw CT angiographies that have blurring and artifacts and other issues that distort the visual representation that make it difficult to characterize. But second, they're not characterizing this in comparison to biology. Their point of reference is what a physician is able to interpret, and that has limitations for how far it can go. What we're doing is using machine intelligence to go beyond what the human eye can do. We have our software that's been both developed and validated using paired samples of CTA, along with tissue taken from live patients. And by doing this, we can now take in a new CTA and characterize it based on the actual biology with measurements that have been validated against what pathologists saw when they looked at the actual tissue. And so we're uniquely able to characterize lipid-rich necrotic core and intraplaque hemorrhage, key drivers of cardiovascular event that could not be done through Hounsfield unit thresholding, which is the name given to the alternate methodology, as they're simply unable to characterize these tissue types that are both heterogeneous in nature, meaning they don't subscribe to a specific Hounsfield unit range. So the until Elucid, the, they were analyzing a picture of a picture and trying to assign data to that picture of a picture, where you're taking a picture and aligning it with actual tissue that gave the base evidence of the tissue and then the picture of that. And now you're building your technology on that versus what the clinician sees and then just amplifying what the clinician sees um, with the latest technology.